Hi there. Today, we're going to be exploring how stuttering and Tourette's may actually be opposites. And in first exploring that, I'd like to make the point that speech itself is actually movement. When a person speaks, they move their speech apparatus, their lips, their tongue, their vocal folds, there's muscles in the chest that contract and relax. And all of that happens in in a coordinated fashion in order to produce fluent speech. So speech in the end, in order for a person to speak out loud, they have to move various parts of their body in a coordinated fashion. Now, what happens when a person who stutters experiences a stutter is they're experiencing an inability to perform the desired speech movements. So, the person who stutters goes to say something, and what they're trying to say, it, it doesn't come out. There can be repetitions and stops, or there can be just a pure block where the person who stutters just speech mechanism is kind of frozen. So there's, there's an over inhibition of movement when a person who stutters is stuttering. Um, they want to make certain speech movements and they're not happening. Now, the second thing I'd like to explore in exploring a possible opposite relationship between stuttering and Tourette's is, is inner speech. And what inner speech is, is simply the voice in your head. Um, inner speech is just when we talk to ourselves in our head. Uh, everybody performs inner speech. There's different perspectives on its role um, in cognitive development, in language development, in various areas of development. But one thing that we do know is when a person performs inner speech, when they speak in their head, their neurological system is still rehearsing the speech movements. So if I were to say in my head right now, I need to go to the store and I said it in my head. I didn't say it out loud. Um, I, I performed inner speech with it. My, my speaking apparatus and all of the muscles that are required for me to speak still actually rehearse the movements neurologically. When a person performs inner speech, if you attach electrodes to their vocal folds, to their lips, to their tongue, etc. It, it will pick up on activity in showing that as a person is performing inner speech, um, there actually, there are electrical impulses sent to each of the muscles um, that would need to be used to perform out loud speech. That's actually true of anything we do in our imagination. If I imagine myself running, there's, there's impulses that are sent to my legs. So when a person performs inner speech, their neurological system is still rehearsing the movements. Now, interestingly, and I'm gonna put a link underneath this video to the full theory on stuttering and inner speech, but um, it explains in more depth 
how there's a possibility that when a person who stutters goes to speak out loud, their, their unconscious processing treats what a person wants to say out loud as inner speech. And a person who stutters goes to say a word or a sentence. And despite a conscious desire to say those words out loud, their nervous system treats that speech as inner speech and, and actually blocks the movements, thinking it should, it should stay in the head as, as inner speech. Now, what's interesting, where Tourette's um, is possibly the opposite of stuttering, and I haven't studied Tourette's nearly as in depth as I, as I have stuttering, but in Tourette's, there's a decent amount of similarities um, in, in the two conditions. There's a waxing and waning of the severity of the two conditions. One week, you know, a person's stutter can be severe, and the next week it can be moderate. That's also true of Tourette's. You know, there's a waxing and waning. Um, Tourette's affects far more men than women. That's also true of stuttering. There are other statistical um, similarities between the two conditions. Now, but what's interesting is, as I said, with stuttering, it's kind of an over inhibition of movement. A person tries to perform speech movements and they don't have it. You know, there's a blocking. Uh, like the speech movements aren't performed. So their nervous system is, is blocking the movements. Now, interestingly, um, a characteristic of Tourette's, one of the most well-known characteristics, now I, I do want to, uh, as an aside, mention that not all people with Tourette's have this symptom, but one of the well-known symptoms is um, vocal tics, where in socially inappropriate scenarios, um, a person with Tourette's, you know, can have a vocal outburst with something that's that, that's really not appropriate in in that social situation, and. What I'm proposing is that that vocal outburst is something that is intended to be inner speech. Um, and, you know, we've all been there. I've been in many social situations where I might be thinking one thing or saying something negative in my head, but I know, you know, it's not appropriate or even a cuss word or whatever it may be. And I filter it. I hear it in my inner speech, but I don't say it out loud because I deem it's socially inappropriate. But where Tourette's could be the opposite of stuttering is something that is meant to be performed internally, like inner speech, like a cuss word in a social, social situation where that's not appropriate. It actually, a person with Tourette's performs movements that they want to stay in. So, both conditions, from this perspective, would be movement disorders. And they would be kind of opposite movement disorders, where stuttering is a movement disorder where there's an over- inhibition of speech movements and Tourette's is a movement disorder where there's an under inhibition of speech movements and other movements there's other with Tourette's you know there's often other movements that uh, movements of the body tips that are unable to be controlled so um, that again shows uh, perspective that, you know, these, 
conditions are movement disorders. But that's kind of a brief jump into that topic. As I said, I'm going to put a link below with the full article on stuttering and inner speech if you're interested in that. But uh, I just wanted to share that perspective and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.